Good morning. My name is Ken Gerald. The Congregation of Zion Lutheran Church in downtown Hamilton, Ohio, welcomes you to our Sunday worship service. We are happy you have joined us in praise and worship of our Heavenly Father. We are broadcasting live on Sundays at 10 a.m. through Facebook and Radio WMOH on 1450. Both can also be easily accessed through our Hamilton, I'm sorry, our ZionHamilton.org website. If you would like to follow our service with our Sunday Bulletin, please call our church office at 513-863-5774 or email us at ZionLutheranOffice at gmail.com and we will put you on our weekly email distribution. May God's blessing be with you this week. If you are need in, in need of prayer, please contact, contact us at 513-863-5774 or email us at zionlutheranoffice at gmail.com. Today's first scripture lesson will be from Exodus chapter 24, verses 12 through 18. We will then read responsively Psalm number 2. The second lesson is from Second Peter, the first chapter, verses 16 through 21. And the gospel lesson today is from Matthew, chapter 17, verses 1 through 9. Today's worship is a special service because several of our youth members will be participating as worship leaders. The lectors will be Ruby Beers, Gabby Beck, and Sean Beck. The children's lesson will be presented by Pacer Beers, the sermon will be presented by George Sanchez, Pastor John Mittermeyer will preside over Holy Communion, and the music director is William Seal. We now return you to our worship service. God is good. All the time. And all the time. <clears throat> Get the frogs out of there this morning. Welcome to uh, worship on Transfiguration Sunday. As they might say, the seasons are a changing. The uh, Advent Christmas Epiphany season cycle ends today with Transfiguration Sunday and Jesus' appearance on the mountain, first with Moses and uh, then Elijah also, and then Jesus alone. And then by Wednesday, we move to the Lenten Easter season. So Lent begins this Wednesday, Ash Wednesday. We will be here in the sanctuary at noon and we will be here in the sanctuary at seven o'clock for imposition of ashes and Holy Communion. And then the Wednesday pattern will simply be noons in the chapel downstairs. I know that's a space that hasn't seen a lot of use in recent times, but it's right next to the kitchen. And that's where we'll go for physical food after some spiritual food, noon on uh, all the Wednesdays of Lent until we get to Holy Week. So mark those on your calendar. I'm still waiting for somebody to come up to me and say, Pastor John, I can play the piano enough to play a couple hymns for you. So if you're still bashful or waiting to volunteer, uh, give me a holler. Dick, has, Dick Ruby has offered to come and lead the singing of a couple of songs. So we'll go that route if necessary, but still would love to discover a hidden talent in the congregation that, uh, uh, that we might put to good use in God's service. Uh, for the benefit of those who join us on the radio today, we welcome you and we'll tell you in advance that it will, the service will sound a little different today because youth are leading the worship service. So Zion youth are, from the time of the lessons on, are uh, carrying the service today. I think you're going to enjoy their hard work and their energy. So uh, Aaron and uh, Donna, thank you for helping uh, so much to get them ready and uh, preparing for this day when they lead our worship services. Um, two other thoughts that I had. The last figure I saw on deaths uh, relative to Syria and Turkey earthquakes was 37,000 people. That's really half the population of the city of Hamilton. It's almost unfathomable. But if you can and would, uh, I went to the ELCA website last night and I made a, a contribution. Uh, and there's that opportunity for you to just go to ELCA.org and it's right there on the front. It's the first thing you'll see on their uh, uh, page right now. 
And then I noticed also yesterday that uh, former President Jimmy Carter has entered hospice care and uh, wants to be able to spend his remaining days at home instead of uh, in the hospital. So uh, we rightly can pray for President Carter uh, today in our prayers as well. And Lou, your brother's first name again? Earl. Earl Robinson that we should add to the prayers. So when I get back to a pen here, I'll do that. Earl Robinson, okay? Are there any other announcements uh, that need to be shared at the outset today? Patty? We have a lot of lettuce down in the big refrigerators from 80 acres. They bring it once a month to the community meal, and we need you guys to take some lettuce. And Bill, we thank you again for being here. And Bill keeps bringing visitors and guests with us, and we are so appreciative. If every member of Zion who was here brought as many guests as he does each Sunday, the place would be filled. So so keep that in mind, and uh, that's that's, uh, an example that we surely appreciate. Let's uh, begin our worship order then with the service of confession and forgiveness, and I invite you to stand and join with me there. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, who makes all things new, whose mercy endures forever. Amen. Trusting in God's mercy, let us confess our sin. And you may choose to kneel at this time if you desire. Holy One, source of our renewal, we confess that we are wrapped up in sin and cannot free ourselves. We have not practiced your righteousness. Our hearts have turned away from you. For the sake of the world you so love, forgive us that we may be reconciled to one another for the glory of your holy name. Amen. Thus says our God, the former things have come to pass, and new things I now declare. God's mercy makes us new. We are forgiven in the name of Christ our Savior. Amen. Amen. And we stand to sing thy holy ways.
the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God, in the transfiguration of your Son, you confirm the mysteries of the faith by the witness of Moses and Elijah, and in the voice from the bright cloud declaring Jesus your beloved Son, you foreshadowed our adoption as your children. Make us heirs with Christ of your glory, and bring us to enjoy its fullness. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Good morning. Good morning. The first lesson is from the 24th chapter of Exodus, verses 12 through 18. At Mount Sinai, Moses experienced the presence of God for 40 days and 40 nights. The glory of the Lord set on the mountain, and on the seventh day, God called out to Moses. On the mountain, God gave Moses the stone tablets inscribed with the Ten Commandments. The Lord said to Moses, Come up to me on the mountain and wait there, and I will give you the tablets of stone with the law and the commandment, which I have written for their instructions. So Moses set out with his assistant, Joshua, and Moses went up into the mountain of God to the elders he had said, Wait here for us until we come to you again, for Aaron and Hur are with you. Whoever has a dispute may go to them. Then Moses went up on the mountain, and the cloud covered the mountain. The glory of the Lord sat on Mount Sinai. And the cloud covered it for six days. On the seventh day, he called to Moses out of the cloud. Now the appearance of the glory of the Lord was like a devouring fire 
on the top of the mountain in the sight of the people of Israel. Moses entered the cloud and went up on the mountain. Moses was on the mountain for 40 days and 40 nights. Word of God, word of life. We will now read responsibly Psalm 2, which is found in your bulletin. Why are the nations in an uproar? Why do the people Why do the kings of the earth rise up in revolt and the princes plot together? Let us break their yoke, they say. Let us cast off their bonds from us. God whose throne is in heaven is laughing. The Lord them in derision. Then in wrath God speaks to them. As for me, I have anointed my king. Upon Zion, my holy Let me announce the decree of the Lord. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for your inheritance. And the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall crush them with an iron rod. And shatter them like a piece of pottery. And now you kings be wise. Submit to the Lord with fear. And with trembling, worship. Lest the Lord be angry and you perish in a sudden blaze of wrath. And all Good morning. The second lesson is from the first chapter of the second Peter. At the transfiguration, God's voice was heard declaring Jesus to be the beloved Son. By the activity of the Holy Spirit, God's voice continues to be heard throughout the word of the scripture. And now the reading. For we did not follow cleverly devised myths when we made known for the power coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, but we had eyewitness of his majesty. For he received honor and glory from God the Father that that voice was conveyed to him by the majestic glory, saying, This is my son, my beloved, with whom I am well pleased. We ourselves heard this voice for, come from heaven while we were with him on the holy mountain. So we have prophetic message more fully confirmed. We, you will do well to be attentive to this as you as to lamb shining in dark place until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. First of all, you must understand this, that no prophecy of scripture is a matter of one's own interpretation, because no prophecy ever came by human will. But men and women moved the Holy Spirit spoke from God. Word of God, word of life. Gospel according to St. Matthew, the seventh, 17th chapter. Shortly before he enters Jerusalem, where he will be crucified, Jesus is revealed to Peter, James, and John in a mountaintop experience of divine glory called the Transfiguration. Jesus took with him Peter and James and his brother John and led them up a high mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his face shone like the sun, and his clothes became dazzling white. Suddenly there appeared to them Moses and Elijah talking with them. Then Peter said to Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here, if you wish. I will make three dwellings here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, suddenly a bright cloud overshadowed them. And from the cloud a voice said, This is my son, the beloved. With him I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell to the ground and were, not over, and were overcome by fear. But Jesus, beca- but Jesus came and touched them, saying, Get up and do not be al- afraid. And when they looked up, they saw no one except Jesus himself alone. As they were coming down the mountain, Jesus ordered them, 
Tell no one about the vision until after the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Any children want to come up? Today we're going to be reading Jesus is my very best friend. Jesus is my very best friend. He takes good care of me and gives me everything I need. Jesus gives me strength to play and a warm bed to sleep in. He gives me all the good things I eat and drink. He loves, makes me happy every day. Jesus is always near me and he shows me how to live. When I am afraid, I know he is near. When bad things happen to me, I talk to Jesus about them. I know he hears and listens to me. When others are unkind to me, I know he still loves me. When I am sick or get hurt, I know he will be with me. I am glad to know Jesus loves me and will be with me always. I will love him and follow him all of my life. Jesus is my very best friend. Jesus will always be with there and always love you. Now, you guys can come get a sucker. <laughs> yes. 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 Please take one. Jesus is my very best friend. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Give me the mic. I'm just gonna here. I wrote this sermon because my mom forced me to. Um, so my mom, for like the past four months, has been saying, wants me to go to Baden because it's a better school district, apparently, and they teach better academics. But I don't think that's true, all right? Because Fairfield, all right, I've been there for like seven years, probably more. And uh, I don't want to make new friends, Because all my friends are better, so, yeah. Um, There's a lot of perks of being at Fairfield. Uh, I'm in the Visions program. That means I'm, like, really smart. I'm in all advanced. Um, But this is what I want to talk about, because Lent is coming up, all right? And we don't have to give up all the things that we want, all right? And when you give up something, right, it can make you feel sad. And... Um, yeah, I don't want to leave Fairfield. Mom, quit forcing me to leave Fairfield. Because if I do, I'm going to be really sad and I'm going to lock myself in my room. And then you'll never see me. Don't talk. So, my lesson is that during Lent, you can give up something, but we can choose not to, right? God says, follow your dreams. Yes, he does. <laughs> and I will be giving up eating fast food for 40 days. Because I'm not giving up Fairfield. I'm not giving up my friends because also my friends will get mad at me. All right? So during Lent, you could choose not to and you could choose to. But what I say is choose what you want to do. And if it makes you feel sad, then don't do it. But if it makes you feel happy, then do it. Isn't that right, Grandpa? Yeah. 
Do you have a question? It makes me healthy, so that means I'm happier. That's why I will become healthy for 40 days. And then I'll stop. So, yeah. I've, my mom forced me at like 8 to do this. Not anymore. All right. So, yeah. In conclusion, do stuff that makes you happy. Thank you, worship participants, for letting your light shine this morning. There's a lot of people, George, who would have been much more nervous in that pulpit than you were. And uh, you could look around out here and there's, there'd be heads nodding uh, as well. And I've already seen a sign for Lent that said, uh, for Lent, keep eating your chocolates, give up hatred, racism, and bigotry uh, during the season. So uh, there, was, there was a list of things to uh, give up for the 40-day journey that is ahead of us. With the whole church, let us confess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven 
and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of the saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Called together to follow Jesus, we pray for the church, the world, and all in need. You may again choose to kneel at this time. <clears throat> Embolden your church as it witnesses to the majesty and mercy of your son. This week we pray for Bethlehem Lutheran Church in Middletown and Redeemer Church in Hamilton. Equip lay preachers, deacons, and pastors. Move us to share our stories of your faithfulness and forgiveness. And may our lives proclaim your greatness. Merciful God, <clears throat> dwell with your whole creation from the tallest mountain peak to the deepest valley. Bless the work of conservation organizations and protect vital habitats. Support the work of disaster relief agencies around the world, especially the Red Cross and Lutheran disaster response as they work in Syria and in Turkey. Merciful God, guide and give wisdom to all in authority our Mayor Pat Moeller and local leaders, our Governor Mike DeWine and state legislators, our President Joe Biden and national legislators. Bring freedom and justice to all nations. Merciful God, <clears throat> give shelter to those lacking safe homes. Spur communities to work for fair housing for all. Protect our neighbors whose dwellings do not keep our dangerous cold, out dangerous cold or heat. Accompany with your touch those who are homebound, sick, or isolated. Especially Pastor Lisa Bernheisel, Maggie Bryce, Doug Edwards and family, Jim Gronberg, Ida, Jeannie, Lorna, Glenn French, Beth Griesinger, Libby Bryce, Jan Boucher, Mark Finfrock, Wayne Houston, Jean, Chloe Kim, Wanda Melford, Ruth Ann Bolin, Dennis Steele, Bob Campbell, Donna Wolf, Joyce Donner, Nicara Wilson, Cash Ramsey, Missy Muller, Rob Green, Janet Menke, Earl Robinson, President Jimmy Carter, Juanita Tudor, and Captain Andrew Copez as he serves in the United States military. Merciful God, make us eager to receive your word in Scripture.
liberating God, you break the bonds of injustice and let the oppressed go free. Receive these offerings in thanksgiving for all your works of merciful power and shape us as people of your justice and freedom. You we magnify and adore through Jesus our Savior. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior, Jesus Christ, who, sharing our life, lived among us to reveal your glory and love, that our darkness should give way to your own brilliant light. And so with all the choirs of angels, with the church on earth and the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Almighty Lord, we praise your shining light, your glowing grace. From before the earth's foundation, you loved us and promised us life forever. Within the earth's deep sadness, we laud your great and glorious might. Despite our tears and sinning, we sing of the gladness of your mercy. We praise your Son, our morning star. Christ is our diamond bright, our treasure dear. He is our living Savior who has ransomed us in love. He keeps us yours and fails us never, today, tomorrow, and every day. On the night before his great salvation, Jesus took bread from the Passover meal. He gave thanks for it, broke it, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this and eat. This is my body broken for you. Do this to remember me. And again, after the supper, he took the cup of wine. After giving thanks, he gave it for all of them to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. With joy, we tell our story. Alleluia. Alleluia. We call for your spirit on us and this meal. Refresh our souls with this heavenly food, the body and blood of your Son. Nourish us as branches of your tree and enlighten us with your undying flame. We sing out to the Father, we ring out to the Son, we exult in the Spirit. Transport us in our yearning and be for us the end and the beginning, our purest pleasure, our victorious crown, our never-ending love. And so we pray and praise, amen, amen. amen, amen. <clears throat> and we further pray as Jesus taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. You're invited now to come and taste the joy of God. And for those who join us via Facebook or the radio broadcast and who are communing at this time, feel free during our distribution here at the, in the sanctuary to share the body and blood of Christ given and shed for you for the forgiveness of sin. 
You may be seated. The bread of life come down from heaven. It is for you. The blood of Christ given and shed for you. Christ broken for you. This is the bread of heaven which he gives for you. The body of Christ was broken for you. The bread of heaven given for you. which was broken for you, take and eat. The bread of heaven has come down for you. Be the body of Christ broken for you. Taste of the bread of heaven given for you. This is the body of Christ broken for you. The bread of heaven given for you. which was broken for you and the bread of heaven given for you or the body of Christ broken for you take this and eat the bread of heaven which he gives for you
Now we take this and eat the bread of life, come down from heaven for you. The body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Amen. The Alleluia is an Easter shout, and it is the tradition once uh, Transfiguration Sunday arrives that the Alleluia is put away for Lent, and so we next hear it on the day of resurrection on Easter morning. Let us pray. Holy One, we thank you for the healing that springs forth abundantly from this table. Renew our strength to do justice, love kindness, and journey humbly with you. The God who faithfully brings forth justice and breaks the oppressor's rod, bless, strengthen, and uphold you today and always. Amen. Amen. We sing, Go Tell It on the Mountain.
Go in peace, following the way of Jesus.